Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, my name is Jay God. In today's video, we're gonna do a subscriber gameplay breakdown. We're gonna do it a little bit different like we've done in the past and break down another YouTuber's gameplay. You can see the list on the right hand of the screen. Those are YouTubers that I've broke down in the past. So if you wanna go ahead and check them out, I'm gonna leave a link down to that playlist in the description. And pretty much what I like to do is look at some of their gameplay from their perspective, from the first person view, and kind of give some tips and tricks on how they play that you can actually incorporate within your gameplay so you can improve as a player. Because obviously with my channel, it's primarily about tips and tricks on how to improve at Call of Duty. So if you do like these videos and you find them helpful, please remember to hit that like button and go ahead and do me a quick favor and leave a comment down below of the next YouTuber you'd like to see gameplay broken down from. And if you are brand new to the channel and you are one of those people looking to improve, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, turn it to gray with notifications on. Currently, there are 72% of you that are watching my video right now that are not subscribed but continue to watch my videos on a regular basis. So you can go ahead and do me that quick favor. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We're getting closer each day so i do appreciate that support with that let's go ahead and get into the breakdown so right here the first thing we're going to go ahead and look at is this is chain feeds uh who he is as a youtuber and he has 242,000 subscribers so he's almost at that quarter million mark so if none of you guys have ever heard of him basically what he uploads is high octane fast paced gameplay and pretty much every video has some kind of nuclear and sometimes they have multiple nuclears in one video so here's a quick peek at his stats right here you can see his score per minute is through the roof so he plays extremely fast 4.58 eka his weekly is really high as well at 5.5 Four, seven and almost 700 score per minute pretty much what we're going to look at right here is the number one thing that uh he does is he is playing uh with only lethal streaks so if you're trying to go for high kill games like that i'm going to show off here each of these gameplays there's three of them there's 70 plus kills per match so we're going to skip around a lot because there's a lot of different information depending on what map he's playing but you're going to kind of see how this plays out he does have pure lethal streaks so what he does is he rushes to mid as quick as he can uh, he's using the Damon, which is kind of a little bit overpowered, but that's kind of irrelevant for the gameplay. So right here he comes, takes out the first guy, ducks away, gets a little bit out of there, jumps back out and takes out the next guy. His teammate's right here with him. Um, there is a guy on this right side, so you're not really at risk of getting flanked just yet in the match. And you can see where the enemies are, so all he's got to do is win these two-on-two -two gunfights right here. So he takes that one out, takes out the other. So he's already gotten about four kills. It's pretty much the entire lobby. Right here, there is a guy sneaking through. Enemies coming through. See how he reacts? Reacts pretty good. I don't know why the guy was kind of basically chasing after him. So he jumps up. More than likely, enemies, as soon as they spawn over here on the west side, they're going to be flooding through this entrance. They could be going around this flank. Teammate has his right side, so if he's not firing the weapon, basically you're good to go. So kind of see how this goes. Sees one, snaps on him, readjusts, sees if there's another one coming through, and backs off. So that's a pretty smart play. So what he's going to do is push through here, and then there's probably going to be an enemy. Assume there's an enemy right here because his teammates are coming through this area. Easy little kill there. Snapped on him pretty easily. More coming through mid. So he's only 250 off his uh, sniper's nest already. And the, the downside with this is if you have a bad match or you go against really good players, it's going to be hard to chain these streaks together. But since he does have a relatively high EKIA ratio, you're going to see him get his streaks on a regular basis. So right here, he already has 10 out of the 11 kills because basically his teammates are camping. That's what you need when you need a high kill game. You need your teammates not to really move around the map and then the enemies to flood through the main traffic areas which they keep doing they keep running through this front entrance over here and through the side entrance over here and their teammates are there but they're not really doing much right here he's sitting in the window not really doing anything this guy has never left that sight line and then the other guy is way far from the action so he has 11 out of the 12 kills and he primarily stood in one spot which worked out flawlessly because the teammates didn't really move teammates are moving it's gonna be a little bit harder to get these streaks but you can see how he's kind of locking down the area someone just died over here so now he's got to turn around and adjust for that. His teammates coming up the side. His teammates watching the back as he pushes forward. This guy never moved off the sight line. Now he's got the positional awareness there. Teammates pushing at that angle. That guy's going to bait forward. Takes him out. And then now he has the thresher. Guy jumps down. Able to snap on him. He does have a high sense. So obviously he's able to control that high sense as he snaps onto enemies. And that's what you're seeing. Very good recoil control. Obviously, again, this is a very powerful weapon. So as he comes through the spawn, you're assuming people are over here. He may just spawn back here. You're good to go. So now you get to push all the way to the other side. But once you get that first set of streaks, 
it starts going off. It makes the job a lot easier. So this is a pretty good head glitch. Smart. You can see Inner John just left the game. That's what will happen. As soon as you get those streaks, you can see he played a little bit slow in that middle area, kind of locking it down. But then once the streaks started to come in, you get very comfortable because you could trust your streaks a little bit more than you can most teammates. Sad to say, but it's the case. So he's already 24-0 at this point. Takes out this first one. Already got his ruthless streak. Look at that. A quad with the Thresher. The Thresher took out the whole entire enemy spawn. He's pushing a little deep here, which is a little bit risky. But these guys are trying to shoot down the streaks. Easy kill there. Backs up, got the stim shot, able to re-engage, jump shot. He has the advantage in that gunfight because unless that guy has a shotgun, he's pretty much going to jump out to burst the guy and the guy's instantly dead. So Sniper's Nest already called another one in. And the benefit of having all these streaks in the air is even if the, the hacker comes out, they're going to have a lot of risk to try and sit there. So sometimes people go, man, how do you get that so many kills? How do you get these lobbies? There it is. J King left the lobby. So if J King was good, he leaves the lobby. When somebody's joining the lobby now... They're probably not going to be a good player. Once they join in, they're going to see, hell no, nah, I ain't playing in this match. It's 46 to 9. It, they're getting whooped. All the streaks are in the air. So this is how you take over a lobby. I did a complete video on it. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. If you guys are interested in how to get easier lobbies. And at the long story short, if you're a good player, most lobbies are going to get easy as you play. So right here, he comes around, perfect flank. And you can see he's kind of moving with his strike team because the strike team will give people's position away. Yochi left the game. Another person left the game. And that's kind of continue the pattern on most matches. Dust Clutch Much left the game. And then now everyone's kind of posted up in the middle. And that's a uh, result of all those streaks coming in because they have nowhere else to go. Because if they sit out in the open, they're going to get killed by the Thresher, Strike Team, Scuba Steve, and the other guy left the lobby. So that's what's going to continue to happen. So whoever's left probably is not that good going into the next match. It's going to be even easier. He's going to get the streaks right away. And not saying that these matches are back-to-back. -back, but when you get one of these lobbies where you're able to kick everyone out of the lobby because no one wants to deal with the streaks or have to shoot them down on a regular basis, they just leave the lobby. So right here, he knows the guy's here, debating if he's going to push. And then the teammate ends up taking him out, or the strike team, rather. He knows there's a guy there. And look, you could see this on the minimap. So this guy, you could already see him. He's coming up. So when he looks at the minimap, he's seeing what this guy's doing here. And then there's another guy bundling through. And then he knows that he has to deal with this guy first before he can go ahead and take that guy out. Watch. And then there's two of them. Teammate took that guy out. And now he knows that the guy's already coming from here. And he's timed it where he's going to pre-aim this guy coming through the doorway. Minimap, minimap, minimap. And pretty much everyone I've ever broken down, if they're not as good of a player, they're probably not looking at the minimap. And when they are a good player, they tend to be looking at the minimap nonstop. So right here, this ends up being one of the riskiest moves. And you'll see it play out again. So... There is a guy right here who's running ghost and we've seen that also that's a that's the high KD killer is someone running ghost So he's not even on the mini map you can see and then he gets shot Boom guy has a suppressor on that's why it didn't pop up and then he comes through he knows there's two So he's got to go ahead and uh, he couldn't challenge him not at full health So he's gonna try and outplay them since he's already cleared out the lobby of the best players He's gonna go ahead and flood out and then he has a snap on and take both of these guys out that guy running body armor tells me he's a bot, and that's sometimes what you got to look out for. It kind of sucks to run up against body armor players, but more often than not, they're just not good players. That's why they run body armor. Oh, so I wanted to show off the scoreboard because he went 76-1, and one, and you can see he didn't do anything crazy. He probably had two scenarios throughout what I showed where it was kind of a sketch gunfight scenario where it could have been 50-50. They could have pretty much killed him, or he comes out of it. 76-1 and one is huge, but let me go ahead and break this down for you. Out of the 76 kills, 41 of them were gun kills, and 35 of them were from streaks. I went ahead and counted them for each of the matches, and almost half of the kills in all of these scenarios are from streaks. Because that's when you're trying to get the high kill gameplays, you got to be aggressive off the, uh, off the bat, get a couple kills to start the match, and then you're able to chain a lot of those kills together. Jump shots, take that guy out, and then he comes around, and then there's another guy in there. He already knew that guy was in there, by the way. You could tell the guy was in there. So right here... Right here, you can see that the guy is in the window. So when he ends up snapping onto this guy, reactionary, he's going to end up taking this guy out, and he knows that the guy's still there. Luckily, he has a really fast time to kill weapon, comes around, and then you can see he comes back through, and he knows the guy's in there. He just assumes he's in the corner, and then he ends up snapping on the guy. Takes out this guy on bridge, or at least gets some hit markers. You can see the guy's coming through. He's waiting, slides out, takes him out. Easy kill. 
So the spawn should be all the way on the east side. And he's already pre-aiming. Guy comes through. He takes him out. Takes out the next one. And then the smoke is there. So he's got to go ahead and kind of push this. Because that's teammate smoke. Somebody is behind him. So he's going to rush back to go ahead and take that guy out. Because that guy is in their spawn. Ends up taking that guy out. Pretty nice clean kill. Has the ammo. So now he has the boosted score per, per kill. Takes that guy out with body armor. And then you're going to see... He's got to kind of back off of this because the smoke is there. Smart move. Said get the heck out of there. So for whatever reason, there's a dot right here that pops up. You can see it flash really quickly. And he knows that these guys are coming in. He uses the cover, outplays them, kind of slides back and forth. He uses dexterity, so he's able to get that slide mobility. A lot of the pros use that just because you're able to break aim assist, which I've talked about before. You can kind of get some sliding, which kind of throws people off, especially at close range. Because the majority of players run with a little bit lower sense, like a four or a three a lot of times when you slide in front of them like that they're not gonna be able to track you here he knows where the next guy is all these streaks are coming in and then now he's able to play aggressive he's gonna go ahead and come out get the guy in the corner another one here he's able to get him from behind he has to watch out the spawn over here on the left okay he waited for the uav to pass and now he's good to go all the way up to 47 it actually gets pretty slow so let's go ahead and skip up to 47 pretty much nothing happens because all the streaks are getting all the kills and by that time, he's got all these streaks together. He already has his next set of streaks. So that's how it kind of changed together, which I've talked about in the past. He could probably do comsec and get it quicker, but since he plays very fast, Tim shot is more useful. Yeah. Snaps on that guy. There's still another guy in the window. So he's going to come through, take the other guy out, got hit by the thresher, and he knows that there's still someone over here. Ends up, they check, they're already dead. So you can see how he pre-aims every time he comes around the corner. You can see that all these YouTubers that are broken down, they have really good habits. Boom. Look at the centering where he expects someone to be. So if someone's on this right side, he can adjust. If someone's on the left, he can adjust. Um, odds are if they're back here, he's probably not going to try and kill them. But he's going to try and land a shot while he's coming around this late way. Because with the Damon, you're not likely to get those shots off um, if someone has just pre-aiming with the DMR or something. So he just checks it, moves through, and then now he knows someone's behind him. You guys can see the mini-map. The guy just came out of nowhere. So as he slides through, the fog of war highlights him. He able to turn around before the teammates even fire a shot. Joe Dog left the game. Because no one wants to get stomped to the ground um, unless they're already used to it. And most time, bad players are used to it, so they tend to stay. Versus good players, they just leave the lo lobby. Look at Apple Monster left the game. So you, as you become a better player, what you'll notice is you, you'll be like an average player. And then you go to above average. And then once you hit that point where you're a little bit above average, like well above average, then every lobby ends up turning into a super easy lobby. Here's another quick peek. You can see he does it as he comes through. He knows this is spawn and he peeks right. You can see him really quick. Does a quick glance to see if there's anything going on that way. And then he comes back through. And pretty much that's how the matches end up going. When he gets out of those nuclear streaks, you got to cut him down quite a bit because... The Sniper's Nest, the Thresher, and the Strike Team are taking a lot of the kills. Somebody called the UAV, Nefim Wolf. And uh, a lot of times what will happen is you have bad teammates. Bad teammates are going to be helped because they're only going to have to worry about one kill here or there. So a lot of times they are able to get those UAVs. Takes both of those guys out. Comes around, pre-aims it, takes that guy out. Got the Brutal. Trying to Ego Challenge those guys. Snaps through, got the quick reload off. And re-engages knowing where the guy's at. There's another guy sitting in the corner. Gets that full health. Comes back around. And is able to get some kills on that guy as well. So when you have these streaks in the air. There are people who want to shoot him down. We call those free kills. Literally this guy just looking up at the sky. You come around. You can hear the launcher. Easy kill. 10 out of 10. There's a nuclear. We'll go ahead and skip to the end of the match. And he ended up going 71-1. and one. He died early on in the match, or this could have been a really long streak. Out of the 71 EKAs, 38 were with the gun, and 33 were with the score streak. So half of those kills were with score streak. So 38 total were from kills. So keep that in mind. You still got to get your kills to get these high kill game plays. But once you call on those streaks, if you're playing aggressively, you're going to be able to read off where those streaks are to get those kills as fast as possible. Now we're on Summit, which is actually a pretty nice map because it's an old school map. When he actually jumps down, you see him peek right here. He didn't initially see the guy because the guy didn't light up with the red name. But he did see the mini map. Watch. He's all I hopes. Let me take that guy out. He saw another one back in the spawn. You can see him on the mini map. Comes through. 
He's coming through for a flank. The enemy is distracted. So this is a perfect style flank. Takes this guy out in the back. Misses a few shots there. Not perfect accuracy. None of us do. And then he gets lasered by the Galil. Or the grab. But that's the sight line that the grab should win. DMR, sh or, I mean, SMG shouldn't win at that range. That's kind of more like an ego challenge. He gets shot in the back from this guy just camping a random spot. So it's kind of a rough start, right? And it's 5 to 13. Enemies are killing it. But once he get Look at this dude with the grab is going off. The arrow mass. But you're going to see how it turns around. And you're going to see the lobby, how everyone starts leaving once he gets a streak. He's got a couple kills there. All the teammates are flooding through. He can see where some enemies are. He's going to push to the right. Take that dude out up top. Easy clear. Another one. Another one. Boom. So he's pretty good. All the enemies should be spawning behind him. Um, and then there is a guy up top that just got killed. Right there. That guy died. And you can see the streak is starting to come back. There's two right there. Distracted. They went up the stairs. And right here you can see that he was going to go ahead and pre-aim them. And immediately, instead, of, he was going up, and then it comes back down. Watch. He releases his ADS, snaps on, and then aim down sight, right? That's what you're supposed to do in those gunfights. Some people will just drag their ADS. It's not the way you do it. You do it like this, where you release the ADS, because it's going to be faster, and then ADS and shoot while at the same time. Takes that dude out. The other guy is still distracted with the teammate. He just killed one of your teammates. And that's the... All the enemies should be coming around over here. He knows that this should be easy kill. Boom. Easy kill. 175 off the streak. He's gonna push in and try and get the easy kill. There's one. He needs one more kill. He's just trying to peek spawn. There it is. Boom. Now he's gotta get out of there. So, he was able to get that streak. Pack 5 boosted. And that's a good way. That's why Crash is so nasty. The ammo gives you the extra score. Attack 5 boosted, has a Thresher and a Sniper's Nest. When those go hand in hand, a lot of time it's hard for the Zero to hack them. So boom. He knows that the enemies are still heavy on this spawn. He's still got to call in the Sniper's Nest. Boom. Easy kill there. He just needs his Strike Team. He's not going to play risky though. Because see the Strike Team or the, the Threshers are helping out. Look at Wavy left the game. Imagine that. Second you get streaked on, you leave the game. Once he calls in the strike team, more people will leave. Watch. So he's playing off his teammate right here. You can see that there's actually going to be a couple coming through the doorway right here. And then he tries the ego challenge. Ends up getting killed there. By that guy who killed him earlier. So that's probably the best guy in the lobby. A little bit stubborn. Doesn't want to leave. Um, and look at the score. Even though he's gotten full streaks, still very close match. So his team is not carrying the weight, which kind of works out. Because if you're going for a high kill gameplay, you want to get all the kills basically. But you'll see how quickly the, the game changes, turns around, and you're able to get those streaks as quickly as you want. Now you can play a lot more aggressive. You saw it was a little bit more passive gameplay, and it was only rushing and burst. Takes that guy out, so he's got to run all the way back to the other side. Drops the ammo in a good spot, because now teammates can pick it up as they come out of spawn. And you can see the match gets a little bit slow. He's got to chase the kills now. These score streaks, or half of the kills are coming from the score streaks. Takes that guy out. He knows there's another one there. Pre-aims. Easy kills getting wall bang there but look at he's walking with his strike team he knows they're distracted gonna go for a flank back boost another sniper's nest secures that streak first right and i always talk about that the smart people that use crash know that you should use it right to get you a streak so for this match he had a few more deaths he went 72 and 6 which you can see on the screen he had 41 gun kills and thir or ekias and 31 were from score streak so you can see right there how powerful those streaks are they do a lot of work hopefully you guys did enjoy the video hope you'd like to see another breakdown in the future of another youtuber remember to leave that comment down below again if you did enjoy the video in any way i found it helpful please make sure you hit that like button and if you're looking to come back to the channel because you liked what you saw Make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, turning it to gray with notifications on. Do appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.